Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Wednesday, Wednesday, December 8th, 2021. Hope you're staying warm. It's about seven degrees outside here at the house. Um, sunshine's gonna be coming through though, so that'll at least give us the, the illusion of warmth. So if you're out and about this, this day, uh, keep yourself bundled up and prepared for the cold. Uh, a couple inches of snow expected for tomorrow and then more Friday night into Saturday. So winter's coming, but then next week we're so, uh, one station said 40 on Tuesday, so the December thaw will be with us. Anyway, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here. Cheers, church. All right. So our devotion again comes from Heaven and Nature Sing, Advent and Christmas devotional. And our writer for this section is Troy Trofgruben, ELCA pastor and professor of New Testament at Warburg in Dubuque. And the picture for today is somebody working on an icon. There we go. I don't know who that's supposed to be. It could be Jesus. We've been, we've been talking about John the Baptist, but that was... A few days ago, now we're talking, uh, the, this is the, we're in the middle of the angel visiting Mary, so I'm betting that's Jesus in the icon. So Luke 1, 32 to 33, the angel said, he will be great and we, and will be called the son of the most high and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom, there will be no end. To ponder, there's a portion of Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech at Bishop Charles Mason Temple. And it's also similar to, if not the same quote that he used at the National in, in Washington, Washington, D.C. at the Lincoln Memorial. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Uh, have a dream. A famous speech that he gave at the National Mall. But this was at uh, Bishop Charles Mason Temple. I don't know where that is. Uh, the devotion is titled, Jesus Shall Reign. Many of us have deep political convictions. They are shaped by our age, upbringing, experiences, education, finances, demographics, race, friendship circles, and religious faith. And even though our long-term goals are shared by other political parties, at least in theory, it's often a stretch for us to appreciate their, their worldviews as faithful. Political convictions were no less entrenched in Jesus' day. Under Roman rule, Jewish people responded in passionate ways from acceptance to resistance, from religious co cooperation to militant extremism. In this atmosphere, Gabriel's promise of an everlasting kingdom under the Son of the Most High was loaded language. He spoke of a Messiah greater than any ruler the world has known. This season of Advent, in a world divided by race, partisanship, convictions and creeds, we pray for the reign of Jesus to be made known among us today. We don't have to look very far to see how divided we are. And I don't know if we are divided or if it's, <clears throat> excuse me, the loud voices on either side that are uh, telling us how divided we are. Um, I would guess that maybe 75 to 80 percent of Americans can agree on 95 percent of the issues of the day. But it's the vocal 10 percent on each side that point fingers and gesture and say how awful the other side is. And uh, if anybody, you know, if there's a good idea on the other side, it must not be a good idea because it came from that side. And we see that a, a lot, and that's that's a lot of our media that that focuses on those voices because that's that's what drives ratings, right? 
peace and calm do not drive ratings. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, the, it's the conflict. It's uh, this person uh, disrespecting that person. It's, you know, it's all, that, all the negative stuff that drives ratings. And that's unfortunate. Um, so we have that prayer. We have that prayer that Jesus will come and that Jesus will reign and the kingdom of God will be here and it, it and it will be one of peace and it won't be it won't make a lot of news stories of conflict and anything but it will be a one of peace and love and joy uh, and, and, and those aren't bad things people those aren't bad things at all but sometimes yeah sometimes our our society you know I, I think it's the, you know the small percentage of the, the loud the loud voices on either side that would uh would that you know keep reminding us how divided we are when we probably really aren't um, yeah we'll just leave it there for today um, to know that God is with us and that God seeks peace and joy for everyone everyone and that the reign of Jesus is coming and is here and is breaking through into this world so be a strong heart and encourage this day dear church Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, uh, distance as appropriate, get those vaccines and boosters. We do all these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Well, our prayer is a verse from O Come, Come, Emmanuel. We pray, O come, O King of nations, come, O cornerstone that binds in one. Refresh the hearts that long for you. Restore the broken make us new. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.